My name is Andrew Cousins. I'm Business Development Manager here at Omni Engage. Today, I'd like to take you on a, a whistle stop tour of the Agent Connect desktop, and I'll be touching upon some of the core features and functionality. This is a showcase platform. Uh, some of the functionality can be disabled or enabled, depending on the unique circumstance of the end user. As you can see, the agent is greeted by a number of different widgets on their dashboard. The user has the ability to rearrange the widgets to suit their own personal preference. And of course, when they log into the platform next, the system remembers their choices and rearranges the widgets as they left off. And this has been designed to increase engagement with the platform uh, and to ensure that the agent is comfortable with the, uh, the layouts that they've that chosen. I'll just touch on some of the key features on the desktop. So the user or agent has visibility on their QSLAs, their contact statistics, so they can see how many calls, chats and emails they've handled during their working shift. They also have visibility on their weekly performance in the tab just here. Team routine profile statistics. This is giving the agent an overview of how many interactions they've answered and offered, any that have been abandoned or missed, and it also shows that there is one waiting contact in the queue. Average handling time, still a very important key metric for most contact centers. So we're showing the agent how much time they've spent across omni-channel, in this instance, voice, chat, and email. We also at Omni Engage introduce NPS score, that's net promoter scores. Uh, and this is at the end of each interaction with a customer, the customer can complete a short survey to rate how they feel the interaction went. And that's available across voice and web chat at this current moment in time. Now we feel by providing this information to the agent can help them understand how customers are perceiving the interactions that they're delivering and also can motivate them to go on and leave more of a lasting impression with each customer interaction. Agent availability. This is showing the agent how they're spending their time during their working shift uh, in ready mode versus not ready, wrap up and of course busy mode. Just at the top right hand side here, you can find agent state management. This is where an agent would make themselves ready to accept interactions and they could also record their time in a meeting, administration, outbound and all of these different uh, states can be configured using our admin console. When they're in a not ready or an outbound state, they have access to a corporate phone book where they can make outbound calls. They can use the dial pad to freehand type uh, the contact numbers in and by hitting the blue icon, they can make an outbound call. Alternatively, IT users can load in a corporate phone book with frequently contacted uh, records. Uh, in this instance, they would simply need to click on the telephone number and then they can perform an outbound call. If an agent is speaking to someone on a frequent basis, they can make them their favorite by hitting the star icon here. And of course, by heading over to the favorite section, this is a, uh, an overview of all the different contacts that are their favorites, and they can perform a single click to dial from here. We've also uh, recently integrated with Microsoft Teams. So front end contact center users can check the availability and the present state of their teams on Microsoft Teams. As you can see, I mentioned there's one contact waited in the queue. What I'd like to do is show you how the system handles a voice interaction. And in order to do that, I'll make myself ready. I've quickly accepted that inbound voice interaction. And as you can see, the behavior of the application has changed to accommodate this particular call. I have a number of bits of information available to me. On the top left, I can see this is an inbound call. I have the customer's name and the length of time they've been connected to me as an available agent. I can also see the contact number that was used to initiate the call from the customer's side. There's access to a CTI bar where you can conference the call. You can consult a member of your team. You can transfer the call. You can put the call on hold. You can mute the call and you can also manually pause or resume the recording from here. 
Here we also have a customer journey visualization. Now, this is showing the agent the exact journey path that the customer took through the IVR before being connected to the available agent. As you can see here, the customer was waiting for 14 minutes and 43 seconds in the queue. So it's giving the agent a little bit of situational awareness. Uh, the agent from here can ap perhaps apologize for the long uh, wait in the queue and explain that they're experiencing high call volumes. We also have customer information. We're performing a database dip, or we can link this to a CRM to gather the important information required uh, to, uh, to stay completely available through this call. We have interaction history. This is showing the agent all the previous times the customers made contact with the contact center. And it's also showing the feedback score that the customer provided in the last interaction. Now, of course, if this was a low feedback score, the agent might want to go the extra mile to try and turn that customer around and to leave a more lasting impression with that particular customer. We can also integrate with CRMs. So if there's any important or popular fields that need to be filled out during the interaction, we can pull that information into this universe to enable or to, to actually avoid the agent having to toggle through several different applications. The agent can leave notes in the notes field, so you can leave comprehensive notes relating to the interaction. And of course, as I'll show you in a, in a separate demonstration, the supervisor or any other uh, agent when dealing with this customer in the future can view those notes in the future. Just going to touch upon categories, wrap ups and tags. These are quite important. Uh, they're basically an agent either during the call or at the end of each call can record the main reason why the customer made contact with the contact center today. In this instance, I will select the nature of the call was related to a new booking. The wrap up was a new ticket sale and I'll tag this call as a demonstration. Now, all of the categories, wrap ups and tags can be configured to suit the unique circumstance of the customer uh, and they can do that using our admin console. When it comes to tagging calls, of course, um, if a supervisor noticed that there was lots of different system problems, then they can report upon that and diagnose those problems in the future. What I'll do is I'll terminate the call using the end call button here. The customer will be asked over the IVR on a scale of zero to 10, how likely are you to recommend us to a friend or colleague, zero being not likely at all, and 10 being highly likely. The agent goes into wrap up and then is brought back to the agent desktop. The wrap up timers can be configured in our admin console so the end user can choose how long or how much time the agent has to wrap up their notes. All of the statistics are updated within a few seconds onto the dashboard, so it's just in time information that is relevant to the agent's performance. Now, what I'd like to do very briefly is touch upon how a, the, the platform handles a web chat interaction, for example. Here, we've built a fictitious airline uh, website, and we've embedded a chat widget at the bottom right-hand side. As you can see, I've already populated all of the key fields within the chat uh, widget, and I'll just quickly initiate that chat. Within a few seconds, the chat will be routed using Amazon's task API to the available agent. So I quickly intercepted that chat. And as you can see, the behavior of the application has changed again to accommodate the web chat interaction. Now with Amazon Connect, you can handle up to 10 different simultaneous chats. Uh, best practice is probably having an agent to handle two or three at any one time. So I've got some information available to me here. I can see all of the details that were entered into the web form, including the last browsed URL. And we're giving the agent visibility on the last browsed URL for situational awareness purposes. 
Um, it's uh, to enable them to understand what the customer was looking at prior to initiating that, uh, that chat. Now, of course, an agent can freehand type and start the conversation with the customer in the box here at the bottom, or alternatively, using our uh, admin console, uh, IT users can load in uh, templates to help speed up responses, to help with punctuation, grammar, and uh, accuracy. So I'll quickly just show you how that works. Of course, the customer can see any responses uh, on this side of the, uh, the fence, and could interact with the uh, with the agent themselves. If at any point this particular uh, interaction needed a face to face uh, kind of interaction, we can escalate to a video call. Simply by hitting the video call icon, <coughs> the agent is presented with a, uh, a short URL, which can then be copied and pasted into the chat, uh, and then they can initiate a face-to-face uh, -face video call. I'll quickly show you how that works, just very briefly. The agent would enter their name, select join meeting, copy the URL, put that into the chat bar. Over onto the customer side, they could simply click that and then join the video call. We still introduce wrap ups and tags. So again, in this instance, the uh, the agent is recording the exact reason why the customer is making contact in this interaction. Again, I'll select new booking. I'll select the uh, a, a tag being a demonstration and all of the wrap ups and tags can then be reported on in the future by the supervisor. Another function function available here is they can, uh, the agent can transfer the chat. So if at any point during the interaction, the agent realized that the customer came through to the wrong queue or the wrong department, they can hit the transfer chat and then place the call uh, or the uh, sorry, the chat into that queue. You have availability with the customer interaction data, so you can check all of the previous times this customer's uh, contacted the contact center. And if there's any notes available, then you can view the notes from the previous interactions. Again, this is to help with situational awareness and to give the agent as much relevant information required to stay present in this interaction. And of course, as I mentioned uh, earlier on in the demonstration, we can integrate with the CRM. So if there's any important fields that need to be populated, the agent can do that from one single pane of glass uh, rather than toggling through multiple different applications. So I'll end this chat. And over on the customer side, very shortly, they will be greeted with a short survey. How likely is it that you would recommend Air Stallion to a friend or colleague? Zero being not likely at all and 10 being extremely likely. In this instance, I'll select nine. Another bit of functionality is you can download and view the transcript of the interaction. Or you can leave notes from a customer perspective. In this instance, I will end the chat. The agent, as you've seen, gets brought back quite nicely to the agent desktop where they're able to handle other interactions. I'll just select not ready state, so I can't accept any interactions coming in to the, uh, the agent. I am no longer available. Uh, two other elements that I'd like to show you. Customer sentiment. This is giving the agent a more granular view of the world. Um, you can select a particular date range and you can view how many um, surveys have been offered, how many promoter scores, passives and demoters have been recorded and the overall MPS score for that period of time. So it's giving a more deeper dive into the agent's performance based on how customers perceive the interactions that they're handling. Lastly, we have access to recent activities, so agents can look over their shoulder at all previous interactions that they've handled. 
this is a perfect place to perhaps come back to if they wanted to leave more extensive notes. So I can quickly expand on this telephone conversation. Uh, I could uh, add more wrap ups and uh, different tags. And if I wanted to, I can leave comprehensive notes after the call just to ensure all of the relevant information is being captured correctly. If I needed to call the customer back, I could simply hit the outbound call button and that would initiate an outbound call. So it makes it really easy to recontact customers on the fly. So an overview, a tail of the tape of all interactions that I've handled and I could see all of the necessary wrap ups and tags associated. Lastly, we've introduced a ticker tape. Um, as you can see, the green scrolling message there is for a, you know, a passive alert. Uh, if there's anything of an emergency, then that would be showing in red. Uh, perhaps, you know, watch your average handling time. We're experiencing high level call volumes. I'd like to thank you for joining today's session. I look forward to any questions that you may have. Thank you.